don't fucking move. I want you to scroll down slightly, press that like button. Yeah, that's right. Press that subscribe button and nobody gets hurt. So in this video, we're talking influencers. One of the biggest impacts you're gonna be able to create for your brand is to reach out to someone who's in a better position than you and doing some kind of collaboration or getting some kind of shout out. This isn't new information. This is something you've been trying to do for a long time, but you've probably been pretty unsuccessful with it. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to reach out to influencers and make them actually give a fuck. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is identify your purpose. If you're just out here spamming influencers with some generic ass message and you're hitting them up without a purpose, like do you wanna be friends with them? Do you wanna collab with them? Do you wanna just know them? Do you wanna just brag that you know them? Like what is your intention for reaching out to this particular influencer? You're gonna have to do your research. Just because you see someone who's got a bit of clout doesn't mean you should just hit them up. You need to be a bit more specific. Do your research. Take a look at everything they've got going on. This is going to allow you to create conversation, whether it's about a post that you just saw, a video that you just saw, or whatever kind of content they put out. You need to be able to reference that. You need to be able to show this person your attention to detail and the fact that you actually fuck with them and not just that you're trying to reach out to them to gain some clout because it's so transparent and they will realize that is exactly what you're doing. Also, have a little bit of patience. Don't just go in there and bust your nut real quick. Nine times out of ten, you're not going to go straight up to a girl that you've never spoken to before and say yo you trying to fuck or what unless you are and if that does work for you that's probably a pretty low quality female just saying the better angle to go with is connect with them as in like add them or follow them and start interacting on the stuff that they post get them to be familiar with your name and then once you've done that for a while then shoot your shot in the inbox and when you shoot your shot keep it light they don't want your life story they don't want to know every single thought that you've had this past month keep it light and don't make it all about you and what you want from them a very easy approach would be I just watched your video about such and such and such and such and I just wanted a little bit more clarification on what you meant by you're showing them that you are interested in their content, that you're actively thinking about it and you appreciate their further input. Or even if you're just reaching out to show some love and just thank them for what they do. But just don't go in there and give them your life story and be about me, 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 me or ask them for some shit. They get that all day, every day, trust me. You know when someone hits you up and you've just got to digest all this information and the only way you can reply to this person and not be rude is to answer what they're saying but if you're answering about 20 questions at a time or someone's oversharing and you're looking like how the fuck do i answer to this i'll be honest sometimes i'll just be like you know what i just pretend i didn't see that shit and that's probably what's happening with a lot of people maybe you're not getting ignored it's just someone seeing that oh my god look how much shit i gotta reply to here i haven't got the time right now and maybe they got the intention of catching back up with you and speaking to you but if they're busy people and they're influencers they're probably out there doing stuff and it just slips their mind don't get me wrong some of these people with a bit of clout are obviously assholes and don't care about no one but a lot of the time it's probably down to miscommunication also a lot of people will hit an influencer up and ask them for something and like i said you can imagine these people get hit up a lot and it's going to be people who are constantly asking for something from them the internet gave people this entitlement like they can just expect stuff off people and that shit's lame instead approach these people and offer them something ask them if there's any favors you can do for them give them some ideas or some suggestions on what could be great content just don't blow your load quick don't do it man don't do it let's get a little bit more into expectation don't expect things from people it'd be great if these people did take what you're saying on board it'd be great if these people said yeah okay i'll collab with you but you just can't expect that shit if we're talking expectations expect that you might have to pay and you might not like that but if you want that collab if you want that shout out if you want that connection and there's a price to that then that's just what it is just because you're not willing to pay for it doesn't mean that nobody else is willing to pay for it and if people are paying that person for whatever it is you're seeking from them who the fuck are you to expect it for free come on and of course keep it moving a lot of these people are just gonna say no or ignore you and that's fine that's that's them that's their life they're doing something else it's not a rejection it's just it's just part of the game. If we all had time for everybody, we'd have no time. So just keep it moving. Keep attempting it with other people. Don't just keep going on and on at the same people or the same person. Just keep looking through social media. Keep finding these people. Keep reaching out. Keep implementing these things I've suggested. Because one of them's going to pay off. If you're hitting up 100 people, there's bound to be at least a couple of people that say, okay, yeah, I'll do something. But if you're hitting up like one a week or one a month, 
and it just so happens that they're the ones that are really down to do anything with you. Can't be going around saying like, oh, nobody wants to help me get on. Everybody thinks they're too big for me or, or however it is you're carrying yourself. Bro, you try one fucking person this month. You're going to judge everybody else off the back of that? expectations again so yeah identify your purpose do your research keep it light don't overwhelm them be willing to give up front whether that's money or favors don't expect from them they either will or they won't and if they won't keep it moving there's plenty more influencers in the sea please like share comment subscribe do all that shit do a million things for me only joking I don't expect that shit from you. Be nice though. It's Daniel J. Scott. Don't get mad. Get motivated. Peace.